and welcome back. You can see here I need more light. This in the northwest here everything gets dark at about 4 or 4.30 so a lot of times we're just finishing up jobs and we still can't see very well so I'm going to put another light on the other side. So let me turn the shop lights on and let's get started. Okay shop lights are on we got a translucent ceiling so we should be able to see what we're doing. So let me step inside and let's uh, get it planned out. Okay, so that's the light we have to work with. It allows us to see around the inside of the box of this truck, but I'd like to see a little bit more. So I think what I'm going to do is I need to illuminate this side. And you can see I've drilled a hole, and that's about where I want the light to go. I was thinking about putting it underneath, but I think I'll put it on top, pointing down, about like what you see there. We can see there's a little bit of play, so I'm going to deal with that right now. I'd like that to be nice and tight and solid. You can see this has a square shoulder where it's not going to move right underneath there. And so the problem is it lowers below and I can't get a good seat. So I'm going to add a little bit of a washer here, see how we do. Okay, got the angle the way I want it. Yeah, not hitting the ceiling. Let me turn it up, see how we do. Okay, so there it is bolted in. And basically, it's bolted in, so I just need to wire it in. Okay, I'm just gonna use these clamp on, uh, crimp on uh, connectors for the ground. Just gonna put it right on, just unloosen this bolt a little bit and just put it right there. Just slide it right in, that'll be my ground. Okay, we're at the light that came with the truck. That's not, not it doesn't give us enough illumina illumination. So, but we've got a super thick wire here, probably a number, um, probably uh, somewhere around a number 12. So I think we've got amp, just ample wire and power to be able to run both lights. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break this connection and I'm gonna put two wires into this, one going to my new light and one going back to this bulb here. And I'm just gonna simply gonna run it outside here and then I'm just gonna secure it along the track all the way over to the light. So let me back up and I'll give you an idea. Okay, so there's the light we were talking about. I'm gonna run it along the track all the way to the new supplemental light. Okay, I barely had a connector big enough, but I was able to get both wires right underneath. And I was able to get both wires underneath. Barely, barely had enough room in there. But both wires are in there. I'm gonna connect this to the top and crimp it down. Okay, both sides have been crimped. I'm confident that's not gonna let go. And I'll put the heat shrink over it. And we'll be ready. Okay, the completed product. And I'll press the lens on. Now we're gonna run the wire. Okay, as you can see, I've got it secured. So let me back out a little bit. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna run it on the top of this channel iron, or channel aluminum actually, all the way across, and then that'll power my light over here. And the way I'm gonna secure it is I'm gonna clean off the top of it, because it's pretty dirty, and I'm gonna use brake clean to clean off the top, and then um, that'll dry immediately, and then I'll lay the wire down and then secure it with duct tape. So let's, uh, I think that should probably hold it fine. So let's get started with that. Okay, we're, we're ready. I, if we're gonna use brake clean, so I would suggest take off your glasses, put on some safety glasses, get some gloves on. That brake clean will do wonders for the lens on your glasses. So you definitely don't want that on your... Okay, that's about as clean as it's gonna get. I just wanna get all the loose dirt and all that crud off the top to give a nice clean surface for the duct tape to stick to. So now, let's run our wire and get it secure.
Okay, now we've got it secure all the way across. Now we're gonna make our connection. Okay, that's done. I'll put another thing of duct tape right there to secure the wire. And now, let's see if she'll light up. We will soon find out. So we can see that one light made quite a bit of a difference. We can see inside, and you remember at the beginning of the video, you can barely see any of the equipment. So there it is, supplemental lighting. And uh, by all means, I don't think I'm done. I think I'm gonna need another light. Let's step on the side entry and let's see how we're doing. From the side entrance, let's walk in. You can see there's quite a bit of light. So next project, we need to get this, we need to get the performer lit so we can see the gauges and um, what, what we're doing in front of the machine. So another light is gonna be necessary. So let's get to it. Okay, with the power turned off again, I think I'm gonna put the next light right here shining down in front so I can see this whole area and so that might be I think that's what I'll do it'll be easier to, just to uh, as far as just one wire coming in and it'll be probably real straightforward just to shoot down there that way it's all kind of centralized and along one line there so let's drill some holes okay I've got this light mounted this it doesn't hit anything so we're good now we get to wire it in. Let's take a look. And you remember what it looked like before. Looks like we got plenty of room now. So I'm really pleased. So for a couple of cheap lights and a little bit of wiring, I can now see the inside of my truck. So night jobs will be no problem. Early evenings will be no problem. I can now see the front of the machine to check any gauges. So for $14, and a little bit of wire, this project turned out great. And thank you for watching.